Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's J. Dot the Jammer. We out here with the Microsoft Lumia 550. Let me just briefly explain why I'm holding this phone in the first place. Because as you know, I'm strictly Android. But my Moto Z Play didn't make it into 2017 the way I thought it would. Long story short, the screen smashed. Had to send it off to repair. Now, the Motorola repair center that's nearest to me has, you know so many bad feedbacks for their poor repair service and i know why because last year when i got my phone repaired it took six weeks six weeks i was without a phone i had to send this Moto z play there this year and i was like nope i'm not going to be without a phone for another six weeks so i went to cex to look for the most budget phone i could find a couple of the you know android handsets that i was looking at they they were over 70 pounds and the ones that were you know a little bit cheaper like 60 quid were like 10 year old phones i'm talking like motor samsung galaxy s2 or like stuff like that that they were trying to sell for 60 quid so i looked at this phone you know saw that it came out in 2014 2015 i was like it can't be that bad it's only two years old let me grab it and have a look so yeah, let me briefly tell you about the specs of this phone. It's nothing, you know, surprising really. Um, you've got a Snapdragon 210 there. Um, you've got one gigabyte of RAM. You've got eight gigabytes of storage. Five megapixel camera on the back and only a two megapixel camera on the front. But let me tell you now, the camera on the back and the camera on the front. Okay, maybe not the camera on the front, but the camera on the back is probably the best feature of this phone. I mean, putting it into perspective, you know, the one gigabyte of RAM, the Snapdragon 210, and the, you know, eight gigabytes of storage. I'm coming from a Moto Z Play, which had 32 gigabytes of storage, three gigabytes of RAM, and a Snapdragon 625. And before that, had the OnePlus 3, with a Snapdragon 820, 64 gigabytes of storage, and six gigabytes of RAM. So we at the very lowest low of technology I've ever used in a few years and you know I was worried about how slow it was going to be it's not been that deep but it's definitely not as fast as you know any of the Android phones that I've been used to using so let me just show you what's going on in the back you've got your removable battery there you've got your you know little spot for your nano sim which was cool because I could use the nano sim straight from my Moto Z Play into this phone um, and you got your support for micro SD. I've only used a 64 gigabyte class 3 micro SD in there already um, And that's worked perfectly um, No problems really the only problem really was when you sent well when you seem to um, Default storage to the micro SD card um, a lot of apps start to not work um, for example if I default the micro SD to store pictures downloaded onto the phone, um, I can't take screenshots. I take a screenshot and it will say this screenshot cannot be taken for some reason. Um, I don't know why, but, you know, that makes, you know, you basically have to put everything on the internal storage. That will eat up the eight gigabyte internal storage of which you only get four gigabyte after, you know, the operating system has had its way with the first part of that eight gigabyte. But yeah, um, this is the home screen. This is what it looks like. So wait, you unlock the phone. You can see this. You go in there. Oop, scroll that up. And um, yeah, this is your this is basically your home screen. You've got all your apps there in these little squares. You can hold the square. You can resize the square. Um, oop, or can you? Maybe you can't. Yeah, there you go. You can resize the square. You can do all that stuff to the square. Um, if you go to the right, you've got all your apps in orderly fashion alphabetical order bish bash bosh mate um and if you want to put an app from here onto that screen you hold it down pin it to the start and there it is right there in the corner um you can move that up and down if you want to move it there move it wherever you want to be honest i don't care but um yeah it's quite customizable in that sense but i guess you can only have squares you can't have any other shape i can't imagine it working well with any other shape in the first place anyway so maybe squares are a good shout but yeah let me show you what that one gigabyte ram is saying let me try and get a lot of apps open and then we'll try and see what's really good when we try to go back to some that we opened earlier so you got all that um microsoft edge got some apps that take a little bit longer to load than others 
But yeah, you got that. That's not that bad. You got DPD opening up there quite quickly. Um, let's leave that on there to do whatever it's doing. <laughs> um, you got photos there as well, which you can open, which might open it. Yeah, there we go. We opened photos and that. Um, I'll get to the camera in a bit actually. Let's try to open Instagram as well. So, as you can see, it's quite quick for a Snapdragon 210. I mean, there's a bit of lag in it loading the Instagram photos, as you can see there. But, um, I suppose it's nothing that will kill you. It, as a temporary phone, before you get your next phone, um, it's quite decent. It does the job. Um, what else we got? Come out of that. Um, Xbox app, let's open that one as well. Or let's, you know, attempt to open it. Oh, there we go. We're there, so you can use this app to contact your friends or do whatever you want to do. See, you know, your gameplay statistics if that's something you need to do every day. I'm sure you can get this app on iOS and Android, though, so um, nothing special going on there. I think the only drawback of this phone is the slowness of it and the fact that there are no apps, guys. There's like legit no apps. Like, if I go into the app store now, okay, you got a bit of WhatsApp. Um, you got a bit of Facebook Messenger, you got a bit of Twitter there, you got Instagram now. Um, you ain't got no Snapchat there though, you ain't got no games that I usually play on Android. I don't think you got Cut the Rope there. Have you got Cut the Rope? Let's, let me check that. Cut, oh, I just remembered how much I hate the keypad on this as well. Cut the Rope. Oh, you got Cut the Rope on there, I stand corrected. So you got a few apps on there, but you got nowhere near what you got on Android. Guaranteed. There'll be something on here that you can't get on Android and you'll get pissed off. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, the OS is very clean. Um, and I guess it can more than run on a one gigabyte RAM, um, and quite a slow processor. So I'm assuming, you know, the Lumia 950 and the Lumia 950 XL are much better devices. Now, if I just go into the camera, because that is one thing I want to show before the end of this video. I was shocked and amazed. It's only got five megapixels, but um, as you can see, it's quite it's quite sharp. Check it. It's got auto HDR mode and everything there. It's only got a one tone flash, but you know, let me just zoom in on this guy right here. Zoom in on the keyboard there. It's quite decent. I mean, as long as you got like light. It's quite a decent snapper, especially, you know, if you're only really uploading your photos to Instagram or, you know, whatever social network. I'm not saying, you know, you can be a professional photographer, but um, you can get by. So let me just show you that. See, look at those snaps. They're not that bad. Are you feeling that bad? I don't think they're that bad. Can you zoom in on them? There you go. That, guys, for £45, I don't think that's that, I don't think it's that deep. They're not that bad. Look, you can zoom in on all of that. Guys, don't steep on this phone, you know. I think it's great for, like, a replacement phone. I just don't think it can do much more than be a replacement phone. I've even got a bit of video on there. It only maxes out at... There we go. There you go. See, it only maxes out at 720p, but that's not that bad for video, I suppose. It still gets the job done. Um, But, yeah, so that's the camera. Um, I'm not even going to show you the camera on the front because 2 megapixels, there's not a lot to show. But, um, yeah, apart from that, I mean, you look, what, I get my emails on here, I can check my calendar. Um, where is the calendar? Yeah, I can check my calendar on here. Um, what else can I do? Internet Explorer, it's a bit hit and miss. Um, I mean, let me search something. Google. We'll go to Google. It's a bit slow, as you can see. Um, let's go to the Microsoft website. Microsoft. There we go. I mean, I suppose that's not that bad, but it just annoys me compared to how fast most other phones are. There we go, we finally got on there. Um, no. Let's get out of that. The fact that this screen is so small, it's hard to press really small elements on the screen. I can't get that X. Look, there's a... Okay, I got it. There we go. Let's go and see what this deal is about. Yeah. There you go. Now let's see what the RAM is saying now. I'm going to go to an app that I opened at the start. Um, yeah. 
store opened straight away. Um, what else have we got here? Let's see your photos. Yeah, photos open straight away. Hey, what on YouTube? Jail channel. Yep, that's cool. That's cool. Um, oh, oh, that's the same app that I just went into. Um, what else we got there? Emails still there. Just did a little load, but it's still going good. But yeah, so you know, as a little temporary phone, um, it's not that bad if you can deal with the slowness of it compared to other phones out there. Um, I'll definitely say it's a good, you know, contender for being your temporary phone. Um, but it's missing key apps like Snapchat. It hasn't even got a dedicated YouTube app. It's got some YouTube players, but you can't really sign into them and, you know, put comments on your videos and stuff like that. I guess they want you to use the browser for that. But when I use the browser for YouTube, it just upsets me. Like, let me just try and search YouTube here. Uh, and I, ha I hate the keyboard. I hate it. You can't change that either. No Swift key for me. Nope. There we go. Can I, can I get to YouTube? I've clicked it. I've actually clicked it. We're still loading though. My internet's not that bad. We're still loading. There we go. We're finally there. Yes. <laughs> Bit of YouTube. But yeah, that's it. Microsoft Lumia 550. I don't know why my lights just turned off. Okay, I've actually plugged it out. But yeah, it's not, not a bad phone for a temporary phone. For a long life phone, I'm I'm not too sure guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. Um I mean it does the job. I was happy that it was here to support me. Um, all the time that I didn't have my Moto Z Play, but um, I don't know if I can really push it more than that. So yeah, Microsoft Lumia 550. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about the phone. Subscribe and like if you haven't already, or if you don't like it, then unlike, but still subscribe. Maybe you'll like the next one. You probably won't, but subscribe anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. J Jamo out.